And two men who have enjoyed a lot of success in the Tour de France, Miguel Enderain and Laurent Gelabert, looked very relaxed before today's racing. And American Lance Armstrong in an area of the race in which he expects to do very well. I think the days in between the Alps and the Pyrenees are, are days that would suit me. Hotter, a little longer, up and down all day. Very, very tough days. More, days are more like classics with a lot of little climbs, but not 10, 15 mile climbs. And the riders roll out of the start in Mond on a sunny but very hot day here in the central part of France. And they're on their way 152 miles from Mon to Ravel without the mountainous terrain that we saw earlier in the week. And Lance Armstrong, part of a group that attacked at the 23-mile mark in this stage. Armstrong doing exactly what he had hoped to do, part of a breakaway for the first time in this year's Tour de France. Back on the road to Ravel as American Lance Armstrong continues his first major breakaway of the Tour. Here are Phil Liggett and Paul Sherwin with the action. And Miguel Indurain unconcerned by this four-man breakaway today. He's with all the leaders of this tour around him and the 17 minutes back. Lance Armstrong, though, has to be the favorite among these four men for the stage win. He knows what it's like to win a stage. He did it two years ago. It was 1993 at the age of 21 in his first Tour de France that Armstrong came through along the barriers with a man of more experience than his years. He came up to the line. He took a first stage victory. Well, he's dreaming of another victory now, and the two of them have gone clear on the last small climb of the day. And in fact, the other rider in the yellow jersey is Sergei Uchikov, the Ukrainian rider. And look at this, they've got clear of everybody else. So they've dropped Kengi Alta, they've dropped Buena Hora. The main field are out of it. And now it's left to just the two of them. And yeah, Uchikov might try to go early here. He knows the power of the finish of Lance Armstrong in a small group like this. He knows he may not be able to match up to that power. Armstrong, now there's the right-hander, but it's not the last turn before the finish. And Armstrong now in the front and doesn't want to be there. So he now looks over to Uchikov to see if he'll take the lead. He's forced Uchikov into the first position on the road. There's the left-hander. It won't be very long now before they can see at the end of this big, long straightaway. And it's going to be about now where Sergei Uchikov realizes he made a mess of that. He shouldn't have gone round the corner into the lead because Lance has him where he wants him now and he's not going to come by him again until he goes for the gears and gives him just about all the speed he has left in those legs after what has been a tremendously long day in the saddle for all of the breakaway. Uchikov is going to ride close to the barriers on the left, so Armstrong must come over on his right shoulder. Give him only one way. Armstrong now begins to make his move. Uchikov goes immediately, but goes right to the centre of the road. Armstrong holding the back wheel of Uchikov. Very shortly, Armstrong is going to have to kick, but I don't think he's got it. Uchikov has everything. Uchikov takes it on the line. Armstrong will be very, very annoyed about that, but he never had it on the line. He had to take second place. And nearly 20 minutes behind, the group including Indurain, Zula, and Jalabert, the top three overall riders, still on the road. Here's Paul Sherwin with Lance Armstrong. Were you surprised how quick Uchikov was when it came to the line? Because you still look pretty good yourself. Mm, I, I was surprised. How, I mean, they said he was fast, but I, I didn't think it was that fast. How does it feel to get so close to a stage victory in the Tour after 93? It's been a long time. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I really feel bad. I can't tell you how disappointed I am. But so, I was out there 200 Ks and every 200 of them, every one of them, I thought for sure I was gonna win. And to get second is, that's devastating. An emotional second place finish for Armstrong today. And now, more than 19 minutes behind the winner, the group, including Miguel Enderain, is crossing the finish line with the knowledge that the top overall positions will not be challenged today. So as we look at today's stage, Lance Armstrong just being edged out at the finish line. Miguel Enderain's overall lead staying the same over Alex Zula. Lance Armstrong now in 26th place. And so this incredible race to Paris continues with a different story and hero each day. And they are all in pursuit of the man who is chasing history, Miguel Indurain. Until next week, so long from the Tour de France.